In this section, we're going to enter the world of animation. And in particular, we're going to be looking at how we can animate rigid bodies and props. So stay tuned for this section because in completing this, you're going to know how to animate a lot of stuff. In this video, we're going to be exploring a sci fi corridor scene that is included with the Unity Assets packages. So we can download an asset package from the asset store, the sci fi corridor scene. We're going to take a look through that scene and get started at planning that scene for a camera fly through. That is, we're going to be animating a character that flies around that scene. Greetings and welcome to this new section of the course on animation. In particular, in this section, we're going to be focusing on the native Unity animation features. Specifically, we're going to be learning about how do we create animations inside Unity. And we'll focus on this particular example that you can see open in the Unity editor right here. Now, this example is based on a free asset that is available from the Unity Asset Store. That asset is the Corridor Demo, which you can download. It comes from Unity Technologies and is a public domain asset. By using this corridor environment, we're going to be creating a camera fly through that the user will have some control over when it comes to navigation. So inside the scene tab, if I just click on the scene tab here to display the 3D environment that we can see. Inside this scene, there is actually quite a lot going on here. You can see we have an awful lot of lights and light probes and occlusion areas. And a lot of this is responsible for how good the environment looks. Now, of course, we covered lighting and other kinds of effects in different sections of this course. In this section, we're going to be focusing on animation. So the main aim is going to be to create a camera that can fly through the environment. And it's going to be able to stop at particular points. And by clicking on a button, we're going to be able to continue the camera along its path. So if I switch to the game tab, in the bottom left hand side of the display, you can see a forward navigation button. This is simply just a UI component. So if I expand the UI section, you can see that we have a button icon here. And when the user clicks on this button, the camera is going to be able to fly forwards and then it will stop at a particular point. And we can click the button again to continually move the camera forwards along its path. So this is the functionality we're going to be creating and the animation behavior that we're going to add here. And we're going to be doing this without using any code at all. We're simply going to focus on the animation tools that are part of Unity. We're going to get started at looking at those 